check, check, check. Hello. Anonymous. Hello. That flash guy. How you doing? Well, thank you guys for being here for attempt number two. As I got an hour into the Sunday afternoon stream and YouTube started acting weird. So now we are back to continue that run. But I am going to go back about a half an hour. And replay what I did in the second half of that stream. So that way the YouTube VOD can live on and people don't get confused. So let's jump right into it. Hello, Tardis. Matthew. And I am currently killing the murder targets. You guys see the game? Hold on one second. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Currently trying to please my lord and savior, Baal, the god of murder, by carrying out his target list. So we're going to be doing a lot of murder tonight, if you guys are okay with that. The best you'll find in Baldur's Gate. Certainly better than any dreck you'll pick up in Worms Crossing. Hey, Gold. How are you? Remind me again, what do you sell? A certain ineffable quality. Beauty in its many forms. Very good, sir. You guys know we don't like the fancy folk. So we're going to kindly shove a knife in this dude's back. Now remember, fast. Maybe I can do it this time without being confronted by the flaming fist. So here we go. This is murder target Figaro. Figaro. Isn't there a song? Figaro. Figaro. There's some song that sounds similar to that. Except the singer is worse than I am. Can't remember what it is though. What a day. All right, Astarion, give me a dual hand crossbow shot if you don't mind. Okay, Wolfart. Yeah. Okay, now I have about T minus 20 seconds to get the hell out of dodge. So let's see what we can do. I say we go upstairs. We hide in the same house that the Flaming Fist will be doing, conducting their investigation. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. My Astarion voice makes you laugh. Oh, it's not supposed to be a joke. Are you trying to say my voice acting is not that good? Why would you laugh at that? I've been, I've been practicing my voice acting a lot because it's been a dream, a dream of mine to be a voice actor one day. Let's get on with it. I have a lot on my mind. I think it would be well, funny to you guys. Like that time I didn't make the soccer team when I was in high school. Everybody was laughing at me. I was trying my hardest. It was a dream of mine. If it is for the best, if I must. Okay, let's see if uh, somehow this works. Run, Astarion! Run! No, the flaming fist are here. Everybody, go upstairs. Go, go. Oh, shit. someone in view of a guard. No. Perhaps unsurprisingly, you're under arrest. Thanks, Harry. Man, I'm always under arrest in this game, aren't I? All right, let's try a deception check as our best chance here of succeeding. There's something unnatural about this body, sir. Get yourself to safety. I'll handle it. Come on, just need like a 14, 15. Oh, oh no. Sometimes dreams aren't meant for us. True gold, wise words. Hey, Philip. I'm using an inspiration point. Bill, Bill, Bill and I the science guy, how you doing? Big fan of your show when I was a kid. They believe Thanks for you. stopping him. For now. 
but something tells you they won't be so receptive to your charms again. You guys know that Bill Nye the Science Guy is a fan of the Wolfheart FPS channel? Pretty cool. He hangs out in chat sometimes. Okay, so that murder target is dead. Let me quickly keep your distance, darling. Lockpick this door. Easy. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Such a such a classic song. If you guys don't know Bill Nye the Science Guy, then you don't know science. You're living in a fairy tale land if you don't know Bill. Bill says, last time I was here, I donated $100. Yeah, that's something, of course. That's exactly what Bill Nye the Science Guy would do. $100 is nothing to that guy. Now, when I opened this box earlier, there was nothing in here. But let's lockpick it, even though the key is downstairs. Lockpicking's more fun. See, nothing. Unbelievable. Why do I even commit murder? You know Bill Nye, Meredy? Artist, you holding up that Twitch chat over there? How With all those chatters right now? Artist is the only one in the Twitch chat. Figaro, safe key really don't... Ooh, gorgeous maroon die. I don't know if I've seen gorgeous maroon die. Okay, we got Figaro's hand. Let's try the gorgeous maroon die. Let's try it on. Huh, who do we want to try it on? I feel like it would probably be the best on Shadowheart. Everybody else has armor that's not going to be dyed that much. Let's give it a try. Whoa. I don't like the blue that goes with it, but okay, fair enough. Now I have to do the entire outfit. We have no choice. I think it's pretty cool that Larian put a die system into the game. There's very few dies that I'm actually a fan of, though. I've noticed that. The more dies that I use, the more I realize I probably wouldn't actually want to use that die. Why don't I have a cloak for Shadowheart? What happened? Huh, interesting. Could put the Cape of the Red Prince on her. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll die that son of a gun. There we go. And of course, we gotta die my wizard's hat. <laughs> Looks like a powder puff girl. Okay, and then of course, we gotta die Shadow. We gotta die her underwear, too, or pajamas. No, just her underwear. You guys won't see that. I'll be the only one that gets to see that. There we go. Okay. Okay, we'll take we'll take a quick look for stream purposes. Very nice. That was supposed to be something private between Shadow and I, but you know what? I like to bring some joy to your guys' lives as well. Oh, she's in her pajamas right now. I like how you can run around in your pajamas and still have all of the... Uh, bonuses from your armor. Um, I wonder if I should see if there's anything to steal in this guy's house. I don't think there is anything to steal. Ooh, scroll of animate dead. Let's go ahead and animate Figaro's body here. I don't see why not. Might as well put his corpse to use. I never find the animate dead spell. There it is. And we are going to make a... <sighs> the ghouls are too big. They take up too much of the screen. Let's do a skeleton. Surge! That was Shadowheart. And then we're going to have... Min Bad behavior oh. Called this God's eye. You're not allowed to what do, do that? To say? Huh. Okay, now we have a bit of a problem. 
I was just testing your observational skills. Congratulations, your eyesight is in full working order. Nice. I think I got it. Yes. Hey, Jackie. Sinalar, hello. D Hargrove in the Twitch chat. What the hell? Did you even text me back tonight? God, you guys ever have you guys ever have friends that you just think you're really close with and they don't text you back? <laughs> okay, Doug texted me back. Crazed Mike, hello. One of my family albums was made with recycled Bill Nye newspaper. Sounds like you got a smart family, Mike. You're free to go this time, but next time you won't be so lucky. Okay. Um, I wonder if I just close the door. It's funny because I just told that guard that I was testing the guard's observational skills, but I still have the skeleton companion. <laughs> I was just committing a crime just to make sure that you would come, but I'm still committing the crime and I'm going through with it. By my oath. All right, let's summon a zombie with our Oathbreaker Paladin. Target can't be reanimated. Why is there so many intestines on the ground? There we go. Any guards coming in? Nope, I think we're good. It was simply because I had the door open. Okay. Say hello to John and Fred, our two new companions. I like the sound effects that Larian gave these little guys. What's next? And let's head out and continue our adventure in the city of Baldur's Gate. No idea what I want to do now. I wonder what the next Pretty sure when is. I go out into the street, we're going to have a ball assassin confront us. No time for Danny. What bad behavior caught oh, this man. guard's eye. What do you have to say? Oh, wow. Um, honestly, I'm going to give her 636 gold. Gold may have made your problem go away this time, but next time... Whatever comes, I'm ready. I couldn't take standing in that godforsaken line a moment longer. I felt like I was going to fail. wonder how many times they're going to confront me for the crimes that I've committed. For cripe's sake. Can a man walk around in the city of Baldur's Gate? Without being harassed by the guards? Evil Within 2 premieres? Oh, good, Gold. Good to hear that. Hello, Phil. Not the Dark Urge. Why are you guys so damn stereotypical? With Dragonborn. Not every white Dragonborn is a Dark Urge, damn it! No time to rest. God, man. The white dragonborn don't have it easy in the city of Baldur's Gate, that's for sure. Blood. No, never mind. Could have fooled me. On a real note, I probably will be doing a Dark Urge run. That'll be the next live stream that I do. Okay, why am I not being confronted with the assassin that we talked to earlier? Oh, here he is. Gods know what else is down there. The approach unique. The form sloppy. But the passion for killing, it was like sport. It would be remiss to ignore such talent. Would you like to be more than a common murderer? To become an avatar of slaughter? Yes. Tell me what I must do. Sounds like random butchery. If I kill, it has to be with purpose. You must kill once more. Choose from our list of most unholy sacrifices. Yes. This Make is great. Them whole in murder. Yes. Remove your victim's hand. You will need it for what lies ahead. Good luck, aspirant. I trust we will meet again. Oh, we will meet again, my friend. Why does Shadowheart got to be such a party pooper? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to commit a couple murders and go on with my life. All right, so we have to kill one more murder to satisfy our Lord and Savior, Ball. But I don't know where that would be. I think I've already killed everybody that I could kill.
Hmm, there's nothing on my map. We've been asked to kill another target from the list. If we do so and bring a severed hand as proof, we can stand before the murder tribunal and enter the temple of Baal. Figaro Pennygood is dead by our hands. We should check in on the other victims from the ballist. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting a little confused here. It's like... Every other quest shows a marker. Murder target Frank. Already dead. Murder to... Oh, maybe... Maybe... Cora is still alive. Let's go check Cora and see if we can assassinate her. It sounds like a nice Sunday evening activity. Go back to the basketball stage. Thanks for the thumbs up on the stream, y'all. I appreciate it. Can a guy just do crimes in peace? What I'm saying, Jackie. BG3 hype. True. Always BG3 hype. Why am I on Twitch? Uh, Doug, if you're still here, Twitch lifted their restrictions. You used to not be able to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And they lifted those restrictions a couple days ago. Or about a week ago. So... There's really no reason why I shouldn't just stream on both if I'm going live. Even if Twitch doesn't ever become anything. It's been doing surprisingly well for these past six days. You guys got me affiliate within like under a week. It's crazy. Alright. Aura is over here. It's gotta go straight. Afternoon. He's delivered. Yeah. Thanks, Thomas. Appreciate it. Hello, Malisa. I always have Shadowheart in my party, and she disapproves of everything I do. It's like adventuring with my mom. That's funny. Oh, what do we have going on here? There's Cora. Cora Highbury. But it looks like we might have some competition here. So badass to be able to do that. You guys got to admit. Actually, I'm going to speak to this guy with my main character. And we're going to put Shadow Heart. Oh, I forgot to cast Aid. I don't need Aid for this fight. Whatever. Should cast Aid immediately after a long rest. All right, Astarion, you stay. Yeah, you can stay right there. Let's move. And that is our murder target right here, Cora Highbury. There's also a highly suspicious dwarf wearing red in this area, who is awfully close to my murder target. For what reason, I cannot say. But I plan on investigating. Have wished to live in more interesting I'm gonna talk times. to Roger first, though. If you walk into a room and there's a guy named Roger, you talk to him first. What's up for discussion? Why, hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Mm. They do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Hey, Alec. I failed a medicine check. Huh. What does that tell us? I wonder what happens if you drink the wine here. Is it game over? Let me hit F5. Let's give it a try. I would love a glass, Master Metzley. See, Master Metzley? Surely you can't turn away a prospective customer. I was in business for a great many years, Master Metzley, and my wife, as always, is most correct. Very uh, well. Here, now leave me to attend my customers, please. Okay, um... Good old Roger. I'm gonna go back to my load point. 
because I want to do what I actually wanted to do. I think it results in the same exact outcome, though. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Organa? What a lovely name. I have a whole morning routine for my group after a rest. My hirelings definitely put in their work. Can you have more than one hireling in your camp now? It wasn't letting me do that a while ago. Rogers can't be trusted. I don't know if Minthara disapproves ah, for that, Philip. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. I'm afraid I must decline, but I hope you enjoy. You know what? I'm going to tell her that a killer is after her. Because I need to be the one that assassinates her, and I'm worried. If it's not me, and this guy takes her hand and disappears, then I don't have the hand to turn in. So we're going to warn her right now. Cora, your life is in danger. A serial killer is after you. No. I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Metzley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will Max remember three. your face, and I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Who's a doppelganger? Yeah, I think it results in the same thing, but now at least I get to know that I can kill her after. I think she runs into the building. Is YouTube is the YouTube stream working good tonight, everyone? Nobody's having any problems like we're having earlier. Hello, Sa. How are you? All right, so here we go. I'm pretty sure that we got these three guys right here. Let's go ahead and start off with a little. Let's see. We have 90% chance with disadvantage. Because of difficulty tactician. This only happens for a few fights on tactician. There's a few select fights where playing on tactician difficulty actually gives you disadvantage on your attacks. Interesting. Only a few though, not many. Oh, wow. Didn't change my, uh, didn't increase my chance. See ya. Casting a fireball at a wine festival, but nobody said that I make the smart decisions to save innocent lives. with Destructive Wrath has got to be the most fun spell to use in this game. It just feels so impactful. And then when you also have Destructive Wrath when you're playing as a Tempest Cleric, it creates that boom in the AoE push effect, which makes it even better. No issues so far? Okay, good. Thanks. I was having poor quality, but pretty sure it was my internet. It's great now. YouTube's been having some problems today, so. I did an hour and a half stream earlier, and then I just ended it, and now we're basically redoing everything. 
Look at how... Yeah, dude, these things are so ugly. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize I was controlling my skeleton. Doppelganger. I want to take a look at the doppelgangers in BG1 and 2. And compare the models. Great character design. Yes. See ya. Gosh, look at that view, everyone. This is why we play RPGs. You know what I mean? I am so happy that I focused on making an RPG channel. Because there is a chance that I could be an FPS creator right now. Although I probably would have failed in that genre. Because there's not enough content to make. I'm probably not good enough either. Promising candidate. Interim report. The Scarred Dwarf is a promising candidate for Unholy Assassin. Though he is personally crude, his methods of homicide are artistic and even innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate his next target, and I, for one, will be observing it closely. So we're working to become the next Unholy Assassin. I don't think killing him is going to affect what we're trying to accomplish here. Look at the attention to detail in this area. It's just insane. Like, this game is so beautiful. I mean, I respect Larian taking a little break after Baldur's Gate 3, but they better get back to work. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get my next game. And life revolves around me and what I want. Wish my game would run good when I get these views. Glad I can run the game more or less stable on medium, though. Hello, Rio. Saren, Katie, the best artist. Yeah, you better agree with me. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Highbury Townhouse. All right, uh, let's go talk to Cora and tell her that we saved her life, and then casually drop a fireball. <laughs> Everybody in, skeletons included. Seems simple enough. Close the doors, lock it up, Astarian. Okay, Wolverine. <laughs> My darling. Okay, that's Cora right there. I think I'm gonna have to take everybody out because it only makes sense. We can't leave witnesses. Huh, all right, I got a plan. It involves a black hole and a fireball. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Give up now. Something's on my mind. At the ready. Our enemies are everywhere. In your name. Out of my way. Don't touch me. On my way. What's next, I wonder? Everybody up. 
Probably safe. I don't think any flaming fists came in. That was the reason why I stayed in turn base, because I figured Flaming Fist would come running in after I committed that murder. Let's go back down and see if there's a hand waiting for us. And we can casually sever on the halfling's wrist. Hello, Amy's greetings. Orpheus. How are you, my awkward friend? Everyone has a plan until they take a fireball to the face. Wise words from Rio Cubs. Very wise words. All right, so there's Korra right there. I don't think we have any chance of uh, animating her body from the looks of it. I think we charred her up pretty good. So let's just go ahead and take her hand. That seems respectable. And I don't know what we do after that. We have finally arrived. Oh, wrong one. The next victim on the ballist target list is the late Figaro Pennygood. We should check his place, see if the killer stopped by and left any clues. What? We already went there. Figaro Pennygood is dead by our hands, and then the quest updates and says the next victim is Figaro Pennywood. I hope I didn't break this quest. I was really looking forward to... Oh, how you doing, Molly? Oh, I'm not sure why he's running from me. Because I'm a vampire? Or is it because I fireballed his entire family? Either way, it's an overreaction. Adori, hello. Justin R, how you doing? Happy Sunday. Immaculate execution. You guys are smarter than you look, you know that? A little souvenir. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what we got to do now to get this quest to advance. I'm just going to go back to where Alexander is. What is this house? This is called Highbury's Home. This is a mansion, dude. Imagine owning this property in the city of Baldur's Gate, right next to everyone's favorite magical shop. It's got to cost a few gold coins. All right, before we do that, though, let me come back down and make sure there's not a hatch into the basement here. Anybody see any hatches? There's a hatch right there. It's a good thing I came back down. I feel like almost every house has a hatch. Bus log is just wonky. Did you actually kill the people on the murder list, Jonas? And if you did, what was the step after this? Like, what happened after you completed the two kills? I'm not really sure what I have to do now. Hey, Shy, what's up? The Wolfheart I know only wears black. Yeah, this is uh, Wolfheart's brother. Took the night off. Hopefully Shy doesn't go back and look at what happened about five minutes ago. Oh! I am impressed, Aspirant. You are ready. Claim the hands from your kills. The creature fixes you with an eerie gaze. It doesn't just see you, it sees through you. Enter Candle Hollow's tombstones by speaking Sicarius oh. at the door. Oh, man. Announce your intention before the tribunal to become an unholy. You guys assassin. are in for a hell of a stream tonight. There you shall be judged. There you shall transcend. You guys are in for a hell of a stream tonight. Prime rib, Amy's? Yum, that sounds delicious. Wow, this is quite the cellar right here, too. Fantastic interior design. Might as well rob it, right? Hmm. I wonder how Larian did all of their sound effects. Like the bottles smacking against each other. Like, do you think they actually took bottles? Or do you think... They bought the sound effect from somewhere. Like, I'd be curious to see the whole uh, design process behind the entire sound design of this game. Not just, like, the soundtrack from Bobby. But, like, the actual little little tiny sound effects that we hear every time we do anything. Like, the footsteps, too. Okay, so we have something going on here. 
Um, I'm gonna maybe move it or throw it. Let's throw it. Seems better. Watch your head, Minthara. Okay. Ooh, another strong box. What now? A crooked touch. Yeah, this is gonna be a good stream tonight, uh, especially for those of you guys that played the original Baldur's Gates. Although, probably quite divisive in terms of if people think that this character that we're about to meet should have showed up in Baldur's Gate 3 or not. Personally, I enjoyed it, but I can totally understand why some people think that that character should just have stayed in Forgotten Realm history. Ocean of Flying. All right, let's get out of here. We're heading to Candy Hollows. Not candy. Kanda Hollows Tombstones. We learned the passphrase. We must speak at Kanda Hollows Tombstones to meet with the Ballist Cult. So I think we're just going to focus in on this one quest and do it right now. <laughs> Having a whole crew dedicated to sound effects? Yeah, I can see that as well. There's a ton of sound effects in this game. I think we should probably do a long rest before we go here in case things go wrong. Let's go ahead and stay immersed in the game and let's run to the Elf Song Tavern and actually walk through the doors of our presidential suite. As opposed to fast traveling there, even though we are pretty much there right now. Closer than I thought. Hey, thanks, Tardis. Oh, I remember that name. I don't even want to click on the comment. I know it's probably something that's disgusting. I remember a Gloria in the chat before that said something uh, quite outrageous. Hey, Hans, how you doing? We're at the same spot. You're on the murder quest or you're in Act 3? Okay, Celebrity let's have a chat with the companions like and see if anybody has haste. anything to say. Take a look at our gorgeous self real fast. Wow. Look how the pose changed. How did it do that? The statue is in a different position now. So funny that I'm doing an evil playthrough and I have a holy Asimar chilling in my room. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? No, ma'am. Baldur's Gate. What can I do for you, my friend? Hey, Danton, how you doing, buddy? Everything going good with you, my friend? You look like an idiot. Behavior has caused upset. Now a fight is unavoidable. The Oathbreaker Paladin is sticking up for Danton? And now Danton is joining my team? All right, buddy. I gotta think for a second. Do I need the Oathbreaker Paladin? I might have to reload here. First of all, it doesn't really make any sense, but I actually might have to reload because I'm wondering, does anybody know if you try respecking as an Oathbreaker Paladin, if you're able to respec into the other subclasses? I'm reloading just in case, because I might do like some Paladin build videos or something in the future, and I don't want to risk the Oathbreaker not being around. Will I sell her to the wizard? Danton stands. It breaks, so you can't. You're not able to respec if you're an Oathbreaker. Okay, all right. So yeah, we're going to keep the Oathbreaker around. If it wasn't like that, I would kill the Oathbreaker right now. Kind of curious if it has any loot on it. We're not going to push Danton. Don't waste a that was step. kind of a bully move, you know? It's Sunday evening. We should be nice to everyone. 
You're a sight for sore eyes, even now. Did you want something? Just what I don't think I anybody has anything to say to me. You wish to consult me? Nope. Let's go to bed. And let's head to the Temple of Maul. And I'm pumped up for this. I'm really pumped up too. Because this is going to be different from what I did on my first run. Shadow Cute is the best. Crazy, hello. You have to take your original oath back to respec. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Let's head to Kandahalo's Tombstones. I like how Astarion runs in this game. It's quite terrifying, actually. If I can remember the password. I love this guild guy right here. It's a dragonborn that had a, a glow stick poured over his head. Okay, first let's start off with aid. Should have done that after I called in my familiar. We're gonna call in this time. We're gonna call in the crab. I like crabs. They're little cutie pies. No one stopped me yet. Time to press ahead. That dragonborn's voice sounds very dark elf in Morrowind. Doesn't it? All right. What now? All right. So for those of you guys that weren't here for the previous stream, not the one today, the one I did like yesterday or the day before, there's a painting on the wall right here. And if you pass a perception check, you become aware that it's not just an ordinary painting. It's a painting that is covering up this button right here. When you click on the button, it opens up the bookcase right here. And then you can see this door right here with the uh, symbol of the dead three. And we are currently going through this door for a very, very epic quest. The door with the red script remains locked. It may open only to a password. Speak the passphrase, Sicarius. Hello, Elizabeth. Go, Mr. Krabs. We have finally arrived in Baldur's Gate. To face the Elder Brain, we must obtain the Nether Stones from the Three Chosen. We spoke the correct passphrase at Kandahalo's Tombstones and approached the Murder Tribunal. I've got a long road ahead. Whenever the game gives you an autosave, you know something's about to happen. Act 3 is just huge in size. I think if they just draw it out like the ending of the game a little bit, there wouldn't have been uh, nearly as many complaints. Because the size of the act overall is incredible. I love that music too. Dark, deep choirs. 
in the soundtrack. So epic. Traps. That was close. That was really close. Still alive, so that's progress. You guys ready for Watch this? Back. Let's see. I was so terrified on my first run when I came down here for the Is first that time. Blood? No, never mind. I had no idea what I was getting Let's into. Move. Need to find a way forward. I think you are confused, Wraith. Well, this guy's still alive. You speak of another. Who has proven themselves like me? Who has sacrificed what I have? Thought I killed this guy. Speak. We are approached. So still thy rant. Share you shall in murder's chant. I know you. And you are most certainly not a faithful of Bard. Not like I am. Though folly most unusual. Just one may seek the tribunal. Fine. I will add this pretender to my many sacrifices in Baal's name. May it please the tribunal. The persuasion check says that this tribunal would pit two perfect killers against each other shows it does not serve Ball. We should destroy it. Okay, I honestly thinks he has a chance. I guess the fight before was a bunch of doppelgangers, but I thought that he was one of them. Apparently he wasn't. Not really fair that it's 1v4. I kind of feel bad. I wish this was like an arena fight. 1v1. Alright, Asarion is going to absolutely drop this dude. 50% chance. This guy's got 114 HP. <laughs> Speak friend and enter. You gotta be kidding me. What now? Before I use action, sir, just go ahead and. Oh damn, what kind of resistance does this guy have? Dolor Amorous. When you land a critical hit with this weapon, it deals an additional 7 damage. Dwarven Resilience. Advantage on saving throws against poison. He has evasion. You bastard. Fight him, crap. Fresh orders. Got 13 HP. <laughs> I haven't tried any mods one. yet. Nope. Soon. A rival slain. His blood runs thick. A worthy stain. Starting to sound like Withers. It just feels so natural to serve Ball. Oh wow, this guy has a ton of loot. Holy crap. Torn and bloody page. Neath Kandahalo's quiet tombs lies a path to murderous boons. If entry down below is your aim, seek trigger hidden by a frame. Sicarius the door awaits to admit those who seek their fates. 
If to continue you insist, show a trophy rent from wrist, of sacrifice for our Lord planned. Present death's night, a bloodied hand. A pathway, Sicarius, and a location. We should find this Kendall Hallow place. <laughs> His quest is a little messed up. This is like the third like minor bug that we've had. Space hunt boots give you dimension door. That's actually pretty damn good. Some leather armor, send that to camp. The lore amorous. Sure, we'll pick that up. And we'll pick that up. And what is in Oh, this is all the hands. Oh my god. Okay, we picked that up too. We spoke the passphrase. Okay, let's head into this Still breathing. Despite mysterious room going. that was just so kindly opened up for us. Wow. Look at the symbols. That is the actual cover of Baldur's Gate 1, right there, the symbol of Baal, the skull with the blood droplets around it. Amazing. I shouldn't have wished to live in more. Oh, I'd hate to rest while our enemies still draw breath. A battle won. A rival slain. His blood runs. I should speak up. Its breath is dank and coarse, but it has no words. This creature is mute. So on my first run, I was doing a neutral good playthrough. So when I came down here and I saw the symbols of Ball, I just assumed everything was hostile. And I minor illusioned all three of these guys into this corner right here, and they're all facing the wall. And then I just wrecked them in like two rounds with a couple AoE spells. These guys are pretty intimidating, though. Its breath is dank and coarse, but it has no words. 309 HP on Tactician. This creature is mute. Funny how you still can't see who's in this room right now. Echo of Sendai. Echo of Elisera. I don't know who the front one is. Let's get going. Now, just in case, Starion, head to the cell. Okay. Don't linger. <laughs> no problem, Wolfhart. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. Oh my god. Saravak himself. The antagonist of Baldur's Gate 1. Legendary resistance crowd control. You have a plus 10 bonus to your next saving throw. Against multiple targets. No one back home will ever believe this. Let me hit F5. Hey, Mike. Good night, Jackie. Moving Thanks for stopping ahead. in the Twitch chat. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Devella was right. Not just an imitator, but Saravok himself. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. Saravak. Ancha, how are you still alive? A long while ago, my wretched sibling brought me back. The fairest of Baalspawn soul bound me to this husk. Worship death though I do, I refused it. 
I roamed the coast, gathering those who still held Baal in their black hearts. The cult survived, festering beneath the city, with me as the gate's everlasting poison. But no more, for poison is too slow a death. Now is the time for slaughter. With these killings, the glory of the Balis has risen beyond what we dreamed possible during those dark days. But the worship of my lord is led by another now, my granddaughter, Arin. Unbelievable. The youngest unholy assassin ever to follow in Baal's bloody trail. And his chosen. When I learned this, I was freaking out. Orin is your granddaughter. My very blood, and by extension, his. Baal has never had a more gifted prodigy. Orin's gifts surpassed even her mother's. Her mother knew this, and she could not bear it. When Orin was but seven years old, she try to smother the child as an offering to our lord i heard the screams i ran to help but feared for the child's life but the cries were not Arin's. it was her mother's blood that soaked the sheets Arin had cut off the very hand that tried to end her and made a plaything of it and as she toyed with her dead mother's hand, a deep quiver rose up through her throat. The Lord of Murder speaking through the child. Lay not a finger on this child, he said, nor let any other, for this child will serve me with unholy ardor. Protect her. In my name. I wonder if Larian was responsible for this. Or Wizards of the Coast. Probably a mix between both of them. Or in story and how it connects to Saravak and Ball. Oh, I know I'm wearing purple tonight, right? Weird. You guys are not used to seeing me in colors like this. This was Arin's tribunal. She was judged, and she was found exceptional. My lord made his choice. I abided by his words. And so it is that Arin now leads his temple and draws aspirants to his creed. But Arin is not the subject of our judgment here today. <sighs> you wish to become an unholy assassin of Baal. So, approach and be judged. I think Larian did a good job with all of the really dark quests in this game. I just love the Orin story. I love the Undercity, which was in BG1 too. I don't know exactly what to answer here because I've never played this path. What does this judgment involve exactly, Saravak? There is no better mirror in which to see the true nature of a killer than his victim. You took their hands from them. Now I will clutch one of their souls from the abyss that they may show Baal who you are. I am ready to be judged. Let us begin. Spirit of the slaughtered, return to us. Show us the truth of this murderer's intent and let us judge him for his bloody service. Hey, DJ. His will be done. Thank you.
Hey, there he is, Figaro. You took this spirit's life, and thus its voice. So, speak for it. How was this pitiable creature slain? I don't know what to answer here. I don't know if I'm supposed to answer truthfully or answer in a way that Ball wants to hear. Slowly and painfully, I savored every scream. Reverence, zeal. Long may he reign. Your offering pleases Lord Baal. Okay. Your words delight him. You slaughter well, Aspirant. I lied to Ball, no big deal. You are deemed worthy. Enter the Dread Lord's abattoir and submit to his will. What would Grandma do? Grandma would not support this quest at all. It's just crazy to see Saravak. I mean, while he's not looking, let me just quickly sit down in his throne, you know what I'm saying, real fast? Hey, Mr. Crab, take a quick picture of me. Thanks, buddy. Sorry, I get the hell out of my way. What an incredible room here. Quiet. Find your grave. No time to rest. Never wanted the easy path. Shit. This one might be tough. Although this Hallifant is quite annoying and lazy. Something tells me this is not going to be a pretty scene here. Hallifants are some of the most good creatures that you can possibly run across in the realms. Looking ahead. They cannot do wrong. Release me at once. Valeria. You stand now on the cusp of the dread lord's favor. I have deep one killing secures your rebirth as an unholy assassin of Baal. The slaughter of a celestial being. Yes. Make violence of its goodness. Slice off his Spill wings. Spill its blood. Chop that trunk. And bowels eternal rapture. Boy, I know you. Do not listen to this ancient fuck. <laughs> Free me at once. That's great. That's great. Uh, you know what's funny, Mr. Valeria? You remember when you treated me like shit? About 15 hours ago in game? Uh-huh. Probably regretting that now, aren't you? Gonna be trying elephant trunk tonight. I will sacrifice this creature to Ball. Spare no violence for the Dread Lord's grace. And savor every moment of the creature's slaughter. Oh. Oh, I was kind of hoping for a cinematic, like, gruesome cutscene or something like that. Now I actually have to fight the Holly fans? Yeah, it can't be that hard, right? Shackled right now. That's not fair. Saravak, free the Holly fan. This would be... This would be such... This would be such an intense emotional scene if this just wasn't Valeria and it was a different Holly fan. Like, a really cute, nice Holly fan. And not this lazy, arrogant Hollyphant. It would make this killing so much more emotional. But nobody likes Valeria. Someone will stop you, Barlist. When they do, I hope it hurts. Still kind of sad.
Hollyfant, it is time for you to die. Stop fluttering around, damn it. Behold, father. Baptized in your most wretched name. A new unholy assassin. I wish that was a cutscene. It would have been cooler. I will do a solo run probably at some point in Decol if I have time. E. Murray. Oh, yes. This is badass. His most unholy will be done. God damn, I'm evil. I bestow upon you the amulet of Baal, the vestment of his most unholy servants. With this amulet, he grants you entry to his chambers, the Undercity Temple of Baal. The portfolio of murder passes into your hands. I'm getting goosebumps. Do it justice. Enact slaughter befitting a god. It just feels right to be a Baal worshiper. Unholy assassin. Ring to it. I am the unholy assassin. I'm also level 11. Gotta be one of my favorite songs in the soundtrack. Now we have the Ballist Amulet and the Temple of Balls location. We can finally face Orin. Justice Saravak found us worthy of entering Justice Saravak. Of entering the Temple of Ball, he gave us an amulet to open the doors as well as the temple's location. We should go there. Orin waits. We also have the rescue Orin's victim, the child that we don't care about. We were anointed unholy assassin at the murder tribunal, gaining access to the Temple of Ball. We need to find Orin there if we are to rescue her victim in time. Now, I would just head right down there right now. But I'm a little bit worried. Orin wants us to kill Gortash. That was like the main thing that she asked from us. So I feel like that's going to be a different stream that we actually go into the temple. Because I want to kill Gortash first. I'm trying to win Orin's favor. Which I don't think in the end is going to be possible anyways, but... I'm willing to give it a try. All right, let me explore the rest of this murder tribunal area. Another and then I'll level forward. up. Keep a blade close. Hardly a challenge. Imagine getting killed by. S you call my hat dumb, Carly? Are you serious right now? Carter, should I demod her? Ball worship. That cliffhanger. That also is going to be a really long session when we go into the actual temple, so I'd rather be fresh for that one. Have a couple hours. Memoirs of Death. This is a memoir describing in detail the visions of Baal seen by Saravak after his death in the Baal Temple centuries ago. The brethren often ask me, what was it like to die? They expect me to present a warning, war in conflict, humiliation of defeat against the honor of sacrifice. But once dead is impossible to think of oneself, of life, for you are in Baal's own embrace. Baal's domain is a red wasteland in a starless sky halted in time before the collapse of the final sun. There I wandered, tasting the end of all things. I was dragged back from the precipice, bound to a living husk again by my mocking sibling. I resented it at first. I had forgotten how to breathe, to eat, all the animal functions of the petty who cling to life. But when I was cruelly resurrected, my faith was bolstered more through my death than it could be through life. I would bring about Baal's perfect finale, the melting of the crimson sun above the lakes of blood, it will happen. 
This world will be carved in his image. Quick stand. Update on Saravak. Valeria's hookah. Kind of sad. My expertise. Wits and blades always sharp. Let me finish exploring and this area coming. before I level up. I think there's a back room over here too. God, that's so badass. Our enemies still draw breath. Could figure out the dual command, and then I could duel her. All right, I'll figure that out. I promise. Oh wow, look at these ladies right here. All right, let's have a chat again. What to do? something to ask you have killed well unholy assassin i am here to further your slaughter in life i was a barzigal kin killer of the five in death i serve our father still until the world grows silent okay. i offer you instruments which will aid in enacting your foul whims This is so out of RP for my character. <laughs> but I'm going to say it because I want to know exactly um, what the response is. But first, tell me of the five. The five. My order of father's spawn were among the first to carve the philosophy that Saravok's death began. We led our worship by killing the weakest of our own line, writing kin slaying into the cannon. We hunted down his insipid fledglings in droves until we were all that was left. All but Saravok's own murderer, who murdered me in turn. So much lore going on here. I found an effigy of your death. The weakness was my disgrace, but it was an honor to give myself to Baal's embrace. There is no shame greater than failing in his service. But even so, each death is a gift. You are an inspiration to our kind. I am no half-blooded drake. Alive, I was a dragon of pure cerulean oh, chrome. Yes. But oft the need arose to disguise myself thus. Oh, that's great. We don't like Dragonborn, but we like dragons. Ballist Gloves. Wrap a shadow rope around a humanoid creature's throat to start garroting it. Affected entity is being strangled by a garret. Hold on one second. That's not how you spell it. There's only one T. Garot. Okay. It is silenced and takes 3 to 18 bludgeoning damage per turn. If the entity in the Garotter move more than 5 meters apart, this condition ends. Ballist Armor. Aura of Murder. Light Armor. Enemies within 2 meters become vulnerable to piercing damage. Unless they are resistant or immune to it. 
Wow. Imagine if you used a rapier and got the ballist armor. And actually, this is about to be insane. The problem is it's light armor. If I put that on Minthara, and if I put that on Minthara, and I had a Starion focus down the targets that Minthara was close to, my fighter thief multiclass would already be is already dealing insane overpowered damage. Imagine if every enemy that I shot with sharpshooter and my hand crossbows and the battlemaster dice and the extra necrotic damage was also vulnerable each one of my shots. Holy crap. I'm buying this. Just I just want to test it out later. Assassin of Ball Cowl. You can see in the dark up to three meters. In addition, you gain plus two bonus to initiative rolls. And you get C invisibility. It looks really cool. I think I want to buy it just because it looks cool. <clears throat> Alright, let's sell a few things. Go forth, unholy assassin. Desecrate. Fresh orders. Okay, let's go ahead and put those gloves on. Linthara, the ballas gloves. And you can see right now. Garrett. Let me hit F5. We're going to test it out. Being strangled. 3 to 18 bludgeoning damage per turn. All right. What now? Can't move either. Pretty badass. Okay, so what I was talking about earlier is Let me see if I can put this on somebody. I wonder if a Starian would look good with that. What am I wearing right now? The horns of the berserker plus 2 to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. That is such a good helm for my build right now. I don't know if I want to take it off. Minthara is wearing the undead one. Shadowheart's wearing the wizard's hat. Let's put it on Shadowheart for a second. Oh my god, that looks so evil. Oh, she looks like a different person. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. That's cool. And 
in her pajamas. Damn, Shadow Heart be looking dark. Have a lot on my mind and, well, and then we also have the ballist anything. armor. So what I was thinking is. Reporting. This would be bad with Minthara because she can wear heavy armor. But if I did put it on somebody that's on the front lines with lighter medium armor. Let's take a look at it first. Mm -hmm. Not bad looking light armor. That's pretty sick. If I was attacking this guy, for example. Or of murder. Enemies within three meters are vulnerable to piercing damage unless they're resistant or immune to it. He's just running from me. <laughs> He's staying out of my aura. If I was in combat, though, well, you guys notice, hand crossbows deal piercing damage. So they would be vulnerable to all of my hand crossbow shots. You guys know how devastating that is? That is unbelievable damage. And actually... If you did this combination, this might be the most possible damage that you could ever possibly do in one turn in this game. It would be worth giving up heavy armor on a frontline character just to have a character that can synergize well with your dual hand crossbow character. It would be worth it. It would be worth dropping Minthara's AC by like three or four just to support Astarion's damage. Wow, that's freaking crazy, dude. No respite. And I think I'm going to leave it on her for a little bit. We'll give it a try. That's pretty sick, man. Incredible on a Gloomstalker Assassin. The, the, well, the problem... It's incredible with a Gloomstalker Assassin is what you're saying, right? Because your Gloomstalker... Or my, my hand crossbow character is not going to be within three meters of enemies. We're going to be way in the distance on the high ground. Oh, as a melee build. Cool. Yeah, you could do like a dual rapier build too. Woo! Oh my god, the possibilities are endless here. Okay. No one stopped me yet. And what's up, Norman, by the way? Can't be hurt if your enemies are long resting. Let's see it in action. I'm going to give it a try. Literally game breaking. Do I use dyes? Yes, most of my characters have dyes on their armor. Ballast armor reminds me of Witcher armor. You look cool, you get an emotional boost and get stronger. Look good, feel good, play good. Right, Oliver? Savage. T. Murray, are you even capable of an evil run? All right, let's talk to everybody else. Seems like a good moment to talk. I'm encumbered. Welcome to our cause, unholy assassin. May your service to Baal be savage. At your command. What a day. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Hail, unholy assassin. You have fulfilled a fraction of your blood's dark promise. You are learning it takes more than birth blood alone to become a consecrated killer. It takes belief. It was known to those who walked this path before you. Common killers, children of murder and would-be gods, and now it is known to you. So which are you? Common killer, child of murder, or would-be god? I tricked the first. Devoured the second, all in pursuit of the third, Godhood. I am Amalesan, the Black Hearted. I stood as Baal's High Priestess, his eternal sucker, until I sought to usurp him. Ball seems to attract a lot of usurpers as followers. Ambition is our curse. We have no choice. Murder begets it. Always. Go, unholy assassin. Walk in blood. Enjoy Baal's favor. But never lose sight of that first perfect murder. I want to have a word. Walk in blood, unholy assassin. 
It is Lord Baal's will. If I saw Saravac, if I saw Saravac IRL in Walmart, I'd walk up right to him. I'd, I'd walk right up to him and slap him. Uh, one day I'll catch a break. Slap him silly right in front of everyone. Say, what are you going to do about it, buddy? Never in all the years of my craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man. He has trapped me here during the renovations. While he says I'm free to leave after the work is done, ill nature, this god awful smell, I'm no fool. I was pretty sad when I came here on my first run that there was nobody in prison that I could talk to. Might be able to speak with that on that one character, though. Anything of use? Here goes nothing. Give us a little backstory about how this guy ended up in a freaking prison cell with Saravak. If you're in prison, a prison filled with ball cultists, you might as well do whatever you can to end your life because you do not want to be alive in that type of prison, that's for sure. The bodies of our lambs must be nourished. An exclusive deal has been made with the runners of the mass grave corpse yard in the Merrig peatlands. Preserved bog body will be added from now on as a side to every meal for the faithful. If the prisoners don't like it, they can starve. Hey Tardis, how many people we got watching on Twitch right now? Just out of curiosity. I can't look at the, uh, the viewers. It'll make me change up my screens. All right. Just curious what a Sunday Sunday night like is on Twitch right now. 46? That's pretty good. That's a lot higher than the last couple streams. Thank, thank you, all 46 of you. How many have we got on YouTube? I wish failed attempts at Speak of the Dead didn't consume a use. Well, if you have the amulet, it doesn't matter. But yeah, if you don't have the amulet, I feel for you. Having to waste a spell slot or a scroll. You like Valeria? Oh. Curvy boy likes Valeria? Uh-oh. Were you here about 10 minutes ago? <laughs> and I cut off the Hollyfant's wings. I'm gonna start wearing a mask. When I, when I stream an evil run, I'm gonna start wearing a mask. A ballist mask. We're gonna RP the roll. Okay, I think that's it for the mur murder tribunal. Hell of a quest right there. Let's head out. I do got to level up. Well, but we'll level up when we're out in the city the streets. 229 on YouTube. Okay, cool. Thank you all, 229. You appreciate you guys. Oh, yeah, we got we to gotta check out the amulet. Um, Yeah, so when you cast, if you have this amulet, which you do get in Act 1, after you cast it, look over on the right side. You see right here? Is my webcam blocking it? Yeah, you know, I can click on recast Speak with Dead. You can recast it pretty much as many times as you want. You cast it once, and then over on the right side. It should be under pat. No, it's not passive. It's just on the right side of your hotbar. Still breathing, despite everything. You did the Thay book and never received that. Oh no no this this amulet can be found in um, you know who Withers is. Of course you know who Withers is. In Act One, in the chapel. 
in the same room that you meet Withers for the first time, where the skeletons are, there's a jar in the corner of the room, and in that jar is the amulet. It has nothing to do with the Fey book. I mean, you can get it, you can get it that way too, but the amulet just lets you cast it as many times as you want. May the good blood guide you. Okay, let's level up the party here. Level 11 Tempest Cleric. Blade Barrier, Create Undead, Harm. Reduce the target's maximum hit points, but never below one. 14 to 84 damage. Heal. Heal a target's wounds and remove blindness and any disease. 70 healing. Such a good heal. Hero's Feast. Just pretty nice. You and everyone around can't be poisoned, disease, or frightened. Your HP increases and you make wisdom saves with advantage. And you also get camp supplies. Not that you really need them in Act 3, but... Planar Ally. Beseech one of these otherworldly entities for aid. Let's go ahead and prepare one of those right now. Let's see. Create Undead. Razor Corpse. Okay... So I'm going to do Hero's Feast right now, just so you guys can see it. Those of you guys that are not familiar with the spell, it is a level 6 spell, but not bad to cast after a long rest. Thoroughly stuffed. Let me get this little chest right here. Gives us all this food. And now we have Immune to Disease, Poison, and Being Frightened. That Immune to Being Frightened is pretty sweet. I would probably cast this after every long rest with a character in my group that has it and just give up that level 6 spell slot for that instead of trying to wait for the perfect time to use like blade barrier or something like that. I am listening. Yeah, and then advantage on wisdom is like half the spells in the game. All right, level 11 oathbreaker paladin, improved divine smite. Nice, making us even more powerful. Decent use for a hireling? Yeah, for sure. Level 11 Sorcerer. Gives us a sorcery point. Level 4 spells. But we're going to stay in Sorcerer instead of doing Warlock. Warlock does give us another spell. Um, nothing that I really need. So let's just stay with... Oh, excuse me. Level 8 Sorcerer, not level 11. Let's go ahead and stay with Sorcerer, and then we get to choose another spell here. I like the Blight spell, but... All the creatures that I feel like it's worth using on always pass their constitution saves. Dimension Door, Dominate Beast. Make a beast fight alongside you. Every time the beast takes damage, it makes wisdom saving throws against your domination. Greater Invisibility. This could be really good with with a few builds in this game. If you have a high dexterity and if you have expertise in stealth checks, such as Astarion. Be a really good spell. Polymorph, Stone Skin. I might actually take it. Last for 10 turns, I could cast it on Astarion at the start of a combat encounter. And we have Blink. Counterspell. Oh god, how can I turn down Counterspell? You know what I'm saying? Daylight. Fear. Grant Flight. Gaseous Form. Haste is so good too. I'm gonna take Counterspell. And I do get to choose a feat now. I currently have 18 in Charisma, so let's go ahead and boost that Charisma up to 20. Don't think we need to do anything special. Every time I go play Sork, I just want to be a wizard. Wall of Fire is super good and underrated. I feel like all the wall spells are underrated. Counterspell, Counterspell is just so good. Counterspell and Shield. It's like I'm trying to grab these spells because they're so good, but my party is so powerful right now. Maybe I shouldn't be grabbing the spells that are good. All right, we get two Battlemaster Maneuvers, unless I do another level into Rogue, which would give us Uncanny Dodge. Use your Lightning Quick Reflex to protect yourself. When an attack hits you, you only take half the usual damage. 
I think we'll just take more Battlemaster maneuvers. And let's do... We have trip attack. Make an attack. Deals an additional 1d8 and knocks a target prone. I'm going to take that so then we can maybe work with Minthara on the front lines. Minthara is working with us with her armor. Now we're going to work with her. And then we should have a range when we do. Maneuvering attack. Spend super to die. 1d8. On hit, select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed. It will not provoke... That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that was a Battlemaster dice. On a hit, select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed. That's awesome. Loading attack, target received disadvantage on attacking any other creature. Evasive footwork, posing disadvantage on melee attacks against you for a round. Not bad to have if an enemy gets up in your face. Advantage on their next attack roll against the target. Oh wow, that's really good too. Spend an action and a reaction to direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally immediately uses their reaction to make a weapon attack. See, the thing is, I didn't realize distracting strike doesn't give you the 1d8 damage, so I don't want it. Is All right, so I want to check out I think I missed something so for the remainder of the stream We're just gonna explore a few buildings Maybe I'll walk up the sorceress sundries and at least talk to the shop owner or the apparition should I say of Leroican But somebody was telling me that there's a basement at the storm shore tabernacle and I didn't find that basement, so let's take a little look. Let's move. Oh, welcome rest. See if I missed something here. Take a quick dump while I'm at it. This is the way. Counterspell, best spell. Yeah, counterspell almost feels a little unfair sometimes. But when the enemy starts using it, then it gets really annoying. Or I could explore the sewers a little bit. We could discover the Undercity right now. Maybe I should do that, actually. All right, let me see if I can find the basement. And then we're going to go into the sewers. Oh, there's that one fight I don't want to do in the sewers right now, though. It takes forever. Unless I can talk my way out of it. Keep a Let's see here. Stormshore Tabernacle. Is there really a basement in here? Or is somebody trolling me? Oh, there it is right there. Wow, I missed that. You thought it oh. was to steal from the gods. You got a problem with it? Gnome. No one back home will ever Why don't you do something about it? Shorty. Breathe deep and move. Everybody in. Minthara, close the door. Okay. Careful, I bind. Can't give up now. Really, Astarian? You got Keep the dude staring at you now. Watch your back. Well, take his eyes off me. Oh, that, that could be a good thing, actually. Hold on. What are these guys doing in here? Oh, they all went after the cat. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, bet I can crack that. Try lock picking with my sorcerer. Got it. Doesn't even look like Shadowheart anymore. I might have to put the wizard hat back on her. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Oh wow. What's inside? 
Dude, this game is full of so many surprises. It's actually insane. How much you can miss in one playthrough. Be on my way. Like, this isn't even... This is crazy. Every single building has a basement. For the eyes of Vicar Humble Toes only. My dearest Duke Portier. Alright, Mr. Krabs, can you jump? I'm gonna send the crab ahead. My crab is part of the trap patrol in this game. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mr. Krabs can't open doors, though. Yeah, it looks pretty safe. I can be subtle sometimes. Let's not get caught off guard. Very well, then. Hey, Tech, how you doing? I think that's what makes some of the bugs in the game forgivable. Yeah, absolutely. There's a big difference between getting a game from a company that really didn't release a feature complete game and a company that you don't really like that much that rips off customers and then bugs that you find in a Larian Studios game. Now with that said, Act 3 was definitely too buggy for comfort in my opinion. Um, they could have done a better job. They could have delayed the game a little bit more. Now with that said, I actually, I think if they delayed it more and then they had to compete with Starfield, not that Starfield really did anything crazy. I think it was worth having Act 3 be a little buggy and then releasing the game a month early because the hype that this game generated was insane. We've never seen this before with a CRPG and I'm so proud of Larian Studios. So proud of the genre as a whole that this game made such headlines. And I don't know if it would have been as easily achievable if they release the game at the same time as Starfield. A lot of reviewers probably would have a lot of big YouTube channels, a lot of gaming media companies would have probably put Baldur's Gate 3 on the back burner and played Starfield only to find out that Starfield's not that good and then they would have checked out BG3 but by that time you're not really incentivized to do much with BG3 because the initial release is over so reviews aren't getting as many views etc. How do I get down here with a Starion? I'm not going to be able to. This dude will not take his eyes what off a of Starion. What am I to do? But Act 3 was kind of in a little bit of an unacceptable state when it first launched. And uh, like you said, a lot of us are kind of okay with that because Larian's amazing, so. I just can't wait to see what Larian's next game is. So excited to see what it's going to be. And like, what are they going to do? Are they going to do the same style as BG3, but upgraded slightly or what? Trap. Be cautious. <laughs> I thought the entire room was going to blow up. Pretty cool that it's like holy. <laughs> you don't see traps like that too often. My character okay? Yeah, we're barely taking any damage right now. Oh, I gotta put on my dimension door boots. Still alive. So that's progress. Like, the fact that you can do that in this game. Like, there's just not many games out there like this. You know what I mean? Castigated by divinity? <laughs> Affected entity is cursed? By transgressed and... Oh my god! When it falls unconscious, it immediately dies. Moreover, when it dies, a terribly envoy of the offended deity is conjured from the entity's corpse. Holy crap. Yeah, I do remember him saying something like that, Tech. But still, even if you did, like, 
something smaller. I'm curious, like, what style game it would be. I'm just going to take everything. I'm already cursed, so at this point, who cares? Only a glaive. Oh, here we go. Wow. Gain a plus two bonus to spell save DC. That's a good amulet. You'll gain an additional use of channel divinity. What? Once used, it is restored upon taking a long rest. Damn. That'll be a shadow heart amulet. What's she wearing right now? Oh yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Wow. So a plus two bonus to spell save DC in simple terms means that your spells that cause enemies to do saving throws, a lot of the AOE type spells or spells that take hold of an enemy for prolonged periods of time, a lot of concentration spells, those are harder to resist. And those tend to be some of the best spells in the game versus the spells that actually do attack rolls. This is a really good amulet. That is really good. And then on top of that, I get an extra channel divinity. Not that I have anything right now. I have turn undead, but I mean, it's good to have it, I guess. Starfield is a steaming pile of dung. <laughs> I didn't think Starfield was horrible. Um, oh, Shadowheart's getting in trouble. I just didn't think it was anything special. And I lost interest, even though I probably will go back and play it at some time. Shield of Shielding. Get Shield Bash and also the Shield Spell. Oh shit, that's pretty good too. And this one gives you Darkness Cloak. Create a cloud of magical darkness and immediately attempt to hide. I'll take them both, man. Got a nice cloak. Pike plus one. Hammer of the Just. Plus 1d4 radiant damage. This weapon deals an additional 1 to 6 bludgeoning damage against fiends and undead. Dude, we're finding some good stuff. I know you're encumbered, buddy. Tell me about it. Oh, wow. Why am I carrying so much water? Let's split that. Let's get rid of 15 of them. Um, where do the other ones go? Throw those to the ground, and that takes care of the problem, actually. All right, we got to get rid of that curse. I'm going to pick up the wizard hat again. The witch hat. I think that's it down here. Pretty cool. Sorry if I scared you all with that sound effect. Yeah, plus two is very rare. I think there's a couple plus threes in the game too. That's even more rare. BG3 is game of the year. It better win game of the year. I want to make a video on that soon. I haven't played all the games that will be nominated for game of the year, but I think I, ha I can form like a decent opinion as to why BG3 should win game of the year and try to do it from a less biased perspective as someone who's like a big fanboy over this game, I think it can be done. Because there's no question that, I think there's a lot of factors that should go into why a game wins game of the year. And Larian Studios checks like most of those boxes, including a company that people want to support, which I think should be a factor as well. Nobody gives a shit about Bethesda. I've got a long road ahead. These boots have seen everything. Okay, so let's go. I think I'm going to save Sorcerer Sundries for its own stream. I think maybe I will go into the sewer right now. There's just a huge combat encounter that I don't want to get into right now. It's kind of boring. I hate... It's long and drawn out. There's too many enemies and there's fire everywhere. But what the hell? Let's go into the manhole and see what's up. This is not Dark Urge. Nope. That'll probably be my next run. This is just a white dragonborn. Used to love Bethesda years ago. Bethesda was a special company. And, you know, a part of me still kind of loves them and hopes. I mean, even though Starfield was mid, in my opinion, I think a lot of people can agree on that. Like, it's not really anything special. It still has the Bethesda formula. And I do like that formula. Other companies don't seem to be able to replicate Bethesda's formula. So I hope Bethesda stays around and no hopefully... This is probably uh, not going to happen, but hopefully they get better as a company. And they go back to wanting to create truly exceptional games. And maybe the Elder Scrolls 6 will be a special experience. Or maybe it won't. Let's get going. 
But Bethesda is still unique. Like, nobody seems to be able to replicate their formula that they have with open world games. Where am I right now? I'm actually a little bit confused. Don't touch me. Simple. How many Game of the Year worthy games? Um, Zelda will probably be nominated. Hogwarts Legacy might be nominated. I'm not sure how much like the controversy plays a part in that. Um, shit, we talked about this the other night. We named like five games that we thought could possibly make it to Game of the Year. But my brain just shut off and I'm not sure now. Oh my god, this is the back of the Guild Hall? I had no idea. Dear. Wonder if the Zentrum agent is over here. I had no idea that there was a back entrance into the guild hall from the sewers. Holy crap. Hold on, let me take my character. Watch the shadows. Which guild? The guild. Ran by Nine Fingers Keen. It was Pinky, who was kidnapped, and her Pinky was sliced off and sent back to her parents. And the kidnapper asked for money. <laughs> We're about to meet her right now, I guess. Maybe I'll do the guild quest right now. Instead of exploring the sewers. I'm trying to just figure out how I got here, though. So we came down the manhole. I swear to God, I've been in and out of that manhole a few times. Why does... Why does it look different right now? Not sure. What now? Yeah, I've never, never been here before. I love Skyrim. Me too. I love Oblivion and I love Morrowind. I might actually start doing some Morrowind runs. A modded Morrowind one run at some point in the future. All right, let's go back up and I guess we'll have a chat with the, with the guild. Um... I didn't expect the stream to turn into this. We overheard some gossip at Sheress's caress. Nine Fingers, leader of the city's criminal guild, is having her territory threatened by a new player on the scene, the Stone Lord. We should head to the guild hall to find out. So this is interesting, because on this run, I haven't discovered who the Stone Lord is yet. And for spoiler purposes, I'm not going to say it out loud on the stream. You guys can probably talk about it in chat. Kind of curious what Nine Fingers is going to say about this. Have a Let's do a save, just well, in case something in happens that I don't want it to happen. The guild back entrance. No time to rest. Where'd my crab go? Can't push down without my crab. Let's have a wrap this time. Hey buddy, how you doing? I love this guy. His hum, the little tune that he hums. He goes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let me see if the Zentrum is here. I'm not sure if this is going to turn into combat or what. Sorry, got no cheese. The, same side, friend. the reactivity to Nine playing as a rat. Incredible. The guild hired you. Okay, cool. So there's no Zentrum here right now. So the guild should be friendly, I think. Or I don't have to choose sides. Halorina the wolf. You're a singing teacher? Awesome. Oh yeah, Starfield will probably be nominated. I mean, despite a lot of people agreeing that it's pretty mid, it was still a highly successful game and a lot of people played it. There are a lot of people that really enjoyed it. Hogwarts, Spider-Man 2, Xenoblade. All right. At least things have stayed interesting. I guess nobody's questioning me being in here right now. This guy sells another drunk item. If you want to do a drunk build. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? A drink, bartender. The Drunken Cloth. While drunk, you have an advantage on constitution saving throws, and you gain temporary hit points equal to your constitution modifier at the start of your turn. 
All you got to do in this game if you want to get drunk is you just drink alcohol at the cost of a bonus action. Then you have three turns that your character will have the drunk condition. If you get the drunken amulet from Shiresa's Caress on Worm's Rock Bridge, that will turn to five turns. And then while you're drunk, you can have the passive benefits of the drunk items that are in this game, of which I've only found three up to this point. But this one gives you advantage on con saving throws and gives you temporary hit points. I also have the Drunk Punch Club, which is a club that is actually really good because when you're drunk, your attacks have advantage on their attacks, which is crazy powerful. You can do some cool drunk builds, and I did make a video on this if you guys are curious and having a drunk character. Which I also included a thematic build for it too. Berserker Barbarian, of course. Uh, just search Drunk Build Wolfheart FPS on YouTube. They go over all the equipment and everything. What are you having? You got any gossip you can share? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now, what can I get you? Oh, okay, I guess that's all he wants to say. Hey, Wyvern, how you doing? Yeah, there you go. Wyvern, Wyvern is a Starfield lover. So if you guys have any Starfield questions, go ahead and ask DM Wyvern. He's currently streaming on his channel, at DM Wyvern on YouTube. All right, let's chat it up with everybody in here. Let me see if I can find... Where is Nine Fingers? Is she in the back room? I'll tell you what. what to do? Let's go to the front area. Instead of starting well, at Nine Fingers Keen, let's go to the beginning. Because we're going to talk to everyone. This will probably be like a half an hour, and then we'll be I done for the night. I always steer clear. If guild members started disappearing, people would start asking questions. And Cazador understandable Questions. when the answer is invariably the silver-haired one ate them the guild hall has one rule all crime stays in the city streets where it belongs break this rule and you die i like the concept of the guild it's kind of like the mafia in a way like they do crime and generally speaking most people probably shouldn't support these criminal organizations but at the same time they also want the city to thrive so their businesses can thrive because without a city, they don't have a business. So it's kind of cool. Like the guild is not on board with this whole absolute cultist thing and they want to protect the people and they want to protect the city. Hmm. Uh. Oh, you rancid bastard. <laughs> Mine's fresh. Welcome to the Guild Hall, Faerun's finest festival. As long as you're not sober. Or able to smell. Uh. Or able. Yeah, let's go a little further in. Starfield dropped out of the ten. Top 10 sales. You also got to keep in mind Starfield is on Xbox Game Pass, though, so it's kind of hard to compare it with other games that aren't on Game Pass, like Baldur's Gate 3. I'm busy doing a thing. Talk to Sticky. Don't bug me. I'm making plans. Big plans, see? Mob used to fund soup kitchen? Yeah, like, there's criminal organizations that also handle things in as morally acceptable of a way as they possibly can. Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The children of Hall? Holy Wolverine poser. The names ring familiar. Two of the many crews that make up the guild. A loose collective with ties to every criminal enterprise in the city's underworld. Interesting. Neither. I run a crew called the Worm Skulls. Can't say I've heard of you. Spare me the story behind the name. I'm sure it's very scary. Fair warning. The Guildmaster wants no fraternizing with the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. They won't be much use to us if they're drinking and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. The Stone Lord? 
Who's that? The latest challenger to the guild's position, but probably the first one to actually make us sweat. He came out of nowhere and ate up half our turf in a ten day. So if you're speaking to the guild master, maybe step soft around the topic. Hmm? If you guys remember back when I first entered Act 3 in the Rivington District, when I went down to that little undercrop under the rock hanging where the ship is, we witnessed the fight between the guild and also the Stone Lord agents. If it's Uktar you're after, he's in with the guild master. Not even Nine Fingers Keen can escape the great. <laughs> Your eyes are going to want to wander all over this gold. It's only natural. Just make sure it stops at your eyes. Hi. Nice lip tattoo. Loser. <laughs> Y'all better respect it. I'll be showing you what an eldritch blast is. I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I don't do requests. But toss me a few coppers, and I'll shoot you a saucy wink across the bar. A bard of my homeland. Do you know any songs of a beer? Of course I do. But I find a Baldurian audience prefers Baldurian songs. So if you'd be so kind... Step aside to make room for the coins to fall. Oh, come on, let me pay for the Abir song. That would be epic. Now, now. If you keep talking to me, these folks won't get their money's worth of melodies. Take a lean and open those pretty little... You won't find much fun here today. Guildmasters batten down the hatches till the stone lord prop. What else? Guildhall is not what it was. No Didn't gambling, that voice. no blood games, not even a pissy little peacock fight. Bored. Look now, the guildmaster's little hunt is bringing all sorts of new faces out of the woodwork. Okay, a couple more people. You can get near anywhere in the city from here without seeing daylight. Once you don't mind the tangy smell of sewer. Where's Oscar? Thanks, but no thanks. What did I do with the Zentrum base in Act 1? I don't remember. Do you hear the Harpers were half wiped out? We should be sticking the last of their bleeding hearts instead of guarding this place. The guild's no army, however tough they act. Just 20 different thieving crews come to hide behind Nine Fingers' skirts. Uniform's a bit patchy, I know. I was Flaming Fist, but the writing's on the wall there. The Steel Watch will be snatching up our contracts in no time. Nice. He's a forward-thinking halfling, thinking about the future. You know what I'm saying? All right. He's not going to let not no now. Steel Watchers take his job. Well, actually, he did, but he found a different job. Maybe that's why this Stone Lord is pushing so hard. He wants Keen's Underroads all to himself. Now, I will say, those of you guys who know who the Stone Lord is, you come with him here, it offers, like, totally different dialogue, of course. Go on. Technically, I'm supposed to be on watch. Bit of a let down this place. Interesting. Why did that? Why did I need a perception check for a gray ring? The stoned lord. I know times are tough, but this crowd could mingle a bit, eh? We're all on the same side. Hmm. Don't 
Don't give me that squinty side eye like all those paranoid guildies. You know, Fingers is well respected in the Zentarim. If the Stone Lord's pressing in on her territory, we're here to help. Okay, so we have some friendly Zentrum agents here. How does the guild feel about you pressing in on their territory? Missed the welcome parade, did you? Hugging, tears. It was just lovely. True, we've been better liked in towns we bloody conquered, but it's hard to blame Nine Fingers. On top, undisputed for years. Then you have to call the likes of us in to protect you from some shithead calling himself Stone Lord. I'd be embarrassed too. You did not see me. A peer of the Parliament openly walking the Guildhall would sell a few copies of Baldur's Mouth, I expect. Uh, no distractions, mate. Nine Fingers has me watching over Peer Priss here. Once our friends and Parliament close with this new Duke making moves. A charm, of course. And then you'll do it yourself. Bare hands. Excuse me? Don't mind the ladies court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers. I love that guy. Okay, let's have a chat with uh, nine fingers keen herself. Let's see if she's missing a pinky finger. There it is, the stump on her left hand. Is it her left hand? Yeah. Yep. You guys can see she has that little stumpy right there. Should we call her stumpy to her face? What? Lady AQ still playing that game? I don't have one ready. <sighs> it's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they failed to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. Damn straight. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorne? General of the Absolute, Champion of Merkel, Unkillable, Tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. Endure Nine Fingers Keen, Guildmaster. A little less impressive as revelations go. You'll forgive the spying, I hope. The Guild keeps watch for anyone of interest passing through our gates. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. I like her character. I think Larian did well with her. I ran into some of your thugs, the Rivington rats. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I don't think they enjoyed it, Nine Fingers. <laughs> I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly. So I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. 
And why do I need the guild? I've been doing well enough without you so far. Mm. You have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolutes at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. I need information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. How is it that you know so much about the cult of the Absolute and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's <laughs> problem. There's more to it than just the dead three. You know that, right? Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Let's tell her. Let's tell her everything. The enslaved elder brain, the astral prism. Huh. Hmm. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. <laughs> so what do you plan to do now that you know? I had no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. Definitely not leaving it to some slimy shit that doesn't even have hands. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. We're definitely Simple gonna be turning against her. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? Because we want... We don't care about the destruction of Baldur's Gate. What can I do to help you? I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but... Straight to business, then. <sighs> of all the pains in my ass, the Absolute was delivered. One in particular keeps growing. A new gang boss who calls himself the Stone Lord. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on the message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. And you want this to become my problem? We know where he plans to it next. A little operation the guild have run in the city's counting house. Likely my crew has it in hand. Snare set, ready to draw it tight. But I like a little certainty. And you've dealt with bigger bastards handily enough. Hold on. The guild has an operation inside the city's bank. Might be more accurate to say the guild is the city's bank. We bought them out years back. Perfectly legitimate. <laughs> As I said, I like a little certainty. Respect. I hear you, but I wanted to discuss something else. You have my attention. Oh, we don't get a quest for that? Oh, no, we do. Find the Stone Lord at the Counting House. This is really cool, because on my first run, I found the Stone Lord by accident. Just by going into the Counting House and exploring that building. And now I'm doing the game, like, in a totally different order. So we met the Guildmaster Nine Fingers Keen. She set a trap for her new rival, the Stone Lord. He's to be ambushed in the city's Counting House. She asked us to head over and make sure it all goes as planned. Knife. A hot one, I think. Nine fingers keen. Awesome character. What to do? Awesome, awesome character. 
I was planning on saving the counting house for later on after I have all the safe keys, but maybe we'll go to the counting house next stream. Remember where everything leads to here. Never a dull moment. Oh, okay, so this is the sewer. If you were to go to prison, this is where you'd escape. Not as bad as it could have. Oh no, this is wait, this is the heapside prison. Oh okay, it is. Wait, is this the same exact prison as the one in Worms Rock? Do they just no, Worms Rock is different. Okay, all right. Just have to make sure. Worms Rock is like a long, narrow line. And to get out, you have to talk to the skull. Yeah, I have a video on the drunk builds if you guys are curious. Just search drunk build Wolfheart FPS and it should pop right up. Okay. This brings us into the Elf Song Tavern. Knights of the Shield hideout. Yeah, which brings us to the kitchen and the knights. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's so cool how like interconnected these under areas are. Because we're probably like two buildings over from the Elf Song Tavern. Yeah, the bard class is great. College of Swords bard is probably one of the best classes in the game. Not only combat wise, but also utility wise and main character wise. You're just good at everything. Yeah, John, just search Drunk Builds Wolfheart FPS. I'll share the stream. I'm probably going to end the stream sometime soon. I'll share the link at the end of the stream. Dumpy is one of the cooler characters. Someone there. No time to rest. Oh, forgot about my buddy. Methods over there. Best be on my way. Still breathing, despite everything. Hey, nice. City sewers waypoint. Perfect. Can't give up now. Don't want to draw Where the hell am I right now? That was weird. 
Nice. Cloud kill scroll. You can't go wrong with that. Never wanted the easy part. I really have no idea where I'm at right now. Where does this lead to? You can't even get over here. What is the point of this room? Is there like a hole around here or a ladder or a... Hmm. At least things have stayed interesting. What is the point of this room? <laughs> is it a dead end? Interaction here with a tiefling. Oh, Arabella. Oh, okay, cool. It's not Dark Urge. Nope. Oh, that was an old comment. Everything is here, just as I promised to my favorite customer. These were not easy to slip past both bone cloaks and fists. I assume you'll be prompt in leaving my payment in the usual manner. Until your next time, your faithful procurer. Oh, that's embarrassing. That is quite embarrassing, folks. love dialogue between like lesser creatures like methods and goblins Bit of caution, never that's the combat to. encounter I that I really don't feel like doing right now there. lots of grease and lots of fire I think you can talk your way out of it maybe we'll try that talk to the rat first though oh that's all the rat has to say Did I fart on stream again? I think I did. face at last are you going to the party as well a party in the sewers i know a bit strange isn't it but then you have to be open to trying new things the venue's called the palace not sure what it stands for but it sounds very exclusive my date's supposed to meet me here but there's no sign of him you haven't seen him have you pale skinny extremely piercing eyes Looks a bit like your friend here. Oh dear. So yeah, I Oliver. assure you, Thank it's you. not. 
It's funny. He was ever so keen for me to come. He didn't seem the type to cancel. What type did he seem? Normal. Mostly. Didn't have much of an appetite at dinner, though he said he was saving himself for tonight. <laughs> he was so enthusiastic. I don't understand why he hasn't shown up. Was there anything else unique about this date of yours? Now you mention it, he brought his own wine with him to the mermaid last night. Strange smell it had, kind of metallic. You know what? I might give this party a miss. Plenty more fish in the Chionthar, as they say. <laughs> Poor lady. If you see him, don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I, um, I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. He was just looking for a little lovin'. A little TLC, if you know what I mean. From a horny vampire. Something good here, I hope. Oh wow, she's gonna walk right past those methods over there. Let's go any further? No. Just in case, let me come over here. Well, in it. Never know, I might find a secret entrance into Baldur's Gate 4. Don't touch me. Moving. What are we here? Okay, where the hell am I now? Trust no one. Oh my god, I think we're at Cazador's mansion. It would make sense, of course, because of the lady we just saw, but... I don't know how you get into it from this angle, though. Oh. Oh, no, 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 okay. Really, is there nothing... No perception check or anything. Oh my god, I can jump in there. I can't. Let me come back down here one more time. Watch your back. Nothing. No perception check, nothing. What now? Almost lost a foot right there. Why is that guy frozen in time? Still alive, so that's progress. Supposed to be doing. Best be on my way. Wizard told us to watch for troublemakers. What's this, cousin? Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I. <laughs> yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Guy's a little loony, isn't he? Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. Kind of looks like Jared Leto. Thomas Judge, thank you for the $10 super chat. I appreciate you. 
Just stopping by 12 hours of VODs to watch before I'm caught on Mercy Wolf. Hey, thanks a lot, Thomas. Cheers. Go on then. Let's find out whose flame is bigger. Wow, that's a tough check. Got it. I cannot. I am the last of us left to do the rights. I must do the rights. Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. Interesting. What's the name of that river down there? Wizard call it the Sioux <laughs> That is Whatever great. it's called, it's impressive. And it tastes great. That's great right there. What's the name of that river down there? The wizard calls it the Sioux Er. Is that blood? No, never mind. Starion, put your torch away when you're walking across Greece, buddy. Nah, don't know how to swim. We have a special chest in here and a skeleton that's missing a head. Making friends with all the slime balls. <laughs> I just fell on my ass. You saw a lot of those and then just cast fireball? Hey, that's okay. I can understand that. This is a hell of a combat encounter. Getting harassed by the methods. Oh no! Hello, Soman. I have Minthara. Yes, I do. It's been lovely so far. Give a starry on the astral tadpole. Gave everybody tadpoles. They're all half a lithids right now. Every single one of my characters. Give up now. Four failed perception checks. All right, so I want to unlock the waypoint over here. Under city ruins. Incredible. Better not be cursed. A rush of ancient whispers fills your mind as you approach the door. It is rife with magic. Old, deathly magic. A new vessel brimming with blood darkens Baal's door. To baptize his dais most holy. Do you have proof of your faith to our Lord? I have an amulet of Baal. Let me pass, door. You hold proof of faith, but to hold and deserve are different. How have you proven yourself in the Dreadlord's eyes? I am one of Baal's unholy assassins. The truth is heard, and it pleases him. The door will part. Walk in blood. The coolest area of the entire game right here folks i'm actually pretty curious if the enemies are going to be hostile towards you we're not going to do this content tonight but i do just want to peek it for you guys because this is the environmental design and detail in this area is like nothing i've ever seen before
Congratulations, Jason. Hey, I appreciate the long time support. Bart killed me so many times. It's pretty tough, too. Careful. Um, we're gonna experiment. We're just gonna walk down here. This kind of reminds me of uh, Return of the King. When Aragorn goes and recruits all the ghosts. God, it's so epic. But I'm not sure. I don't think these ball assassins are going to attempt well, to assassinate me. But man, if you are not a servant of Baal coming down here, woo, be prepared to die. Oh, I failed the perception check. Think, nope. Wow. Even interesting. Okay. I should show you guys something. Ball is ritual target as part of the challenge to enter the temple. The affected entity has become the target of chanting cultist, the far slayer, who can cast Ball's power word kill. Rasp a word of power, compelling an enemy with 100 hit points or fewer to forfeit its meager existence and die instantly. Okay, so it's part of the challenge, I guess. Yeah, my character's just gonna die from the damage that he's taking right now. How many shots do these damn guys have? That's just crazy. On my first run, I had no idea. I didn't pay attention to the conditions that I was receiving. And one of my characters just straight up died. I was like, what the hell just happened? But yeah, take a look at the environment down here. This is just incredibly creepy and amazing at the same time. It is so cool. On my first run, I also remember that I had Gal uh, come over here and solo these guys because Gal was pissed off. <laughs> So he jumped over here and I thunder waved him all off the cliff. But yeah, look at this character right here. How cool, right? Ritual chant, balls, power word, kill. Really cool concept and mechanic for coming coming down here into the temple. But I think that's probably going to be a good spot, folks, for us to call Let's it quits move. tonight. Go get a little food. With haste. We did a lot. It was a very fun session. And for those of you guys that missed it or are just tuning in right now, if you pull the stream back, I did do the Saravok mission, the Murder Tribunal. So if you're interested in watching that, make sure to go check it out. But it was a lovely session. And hey, shout out to all my Twitch peeps over there. We had over 40 viewers for the majority of the Twitch stream, which is incredible. You guys are making me start to think about getting going after Twitch partner where you have to have 75 concurrent viewers. We're more than halfway there. Maybe I'll have to start, like, trying on Twitch. Twitch might become a real thing. And also, of course, thank you to all you YouTube viewers over there. 200 plus strong for the majority of the stream. Thank you guys so much. And you guys have a lovely Sunday evening. And to be continued. Right now, I'm in a bit of a funk for creating videos. I can't figure out a video that I want to create and then I end up writing the script and I scrap the script and I feel like it's not that important. It's going through a little midlife crisis with the videos right now. So I've been streaming a little bit more than normal to make up for that. So as of right now, I don't know. I'll probably be live tomorrow. Goodbye. Thomas, thanks for the 10. Good night, Shannon. Yeah, that's awesome. I didn't expect to have this many Twitch viewers for my first week on Twitch, basically. I was thinking like 10 max. You guys put me in like a really good position because it's very, very hard to grow on Twitch. Um, and just to get over that initial like five to 10 average viewers is like the hardest thing ever. And I'm well above that now. And because of that, that's going to push my stream up in the Twitch algorithm, even though it's not much of an algorithm, up in the Twitch feed. In most categories. And I'll probably be in like the top 15, 20 streams for most categories, just having 40 to 50 viewers, I would think. Which makes discoverability a lot easier for me uh, with the Twitch channel. So thank you guys. On YouTube, I don't have to worry about any of that. It's just discoverability with the algorithm. Playing things that viewers want to watch. See ya, Mike. Curtis, thanks for hanging out.
Me too, elf. Me too. <laughs>